guys, it's Tammy from Shrinking Violet DS and it is What I Eat Wednesday. So what follows is going to be a repost of my Instagram story from today. And if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. As always, I did not change my eating in any way in order to accommodate What I Eat Wednesday. It just is what I happen to eat today. So I hope you enjoy it. I've been getting lots of good feedback from people who um, like seeing these things, so I hope it's helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Good morning, everyone. It is What I Eat Wednesday, and I'm starting off as usual with my Premier Protein Heavy Whipping Cream and Coffee. Um, I already actually drank this and forgot to film it as usual. So the timestamp will be off a little bit on this. I actually drank this between 6.30 and 7 this morning, and it's now 7.18. So I'll probably be back at you here about 9 o'clock with my Hobbit breakfast. Have a great day. Okay, well, I didn't make it to 9 or whatever it was that I thought I would. It's 7.36, and I'm already hungry. So I'm going to have a peanut butter, mayonnaise, and banana sandwich, which I think I've shown on here before. I know, I know it's kind it's... of an unusual thing to eat. Apparently it's a North Carolina thing. All my North Carolina roots are showing when I do this. Um, I don't always put peanut butter on it, but today I felt like it. Oftentimes I'll just do mayonnaise and banana. Bananas are one of those things that... When I was in lost mode, I could not have bananas. Bananas equaled uh, weight gain or stall for me because they are just gigantic carb bombs. And really, that's what this this uh, sandwich is, pretty much gigantic carb bomb. I weighed this... in at 130 on the nose, so I am um, maintaining perfectly. For those of you who saw last week, I had dipped down to 127, and so I've added more carbs into my diet. And I've So that's why 20... I feel comfortable having bananas today. I also found that bananas are kind of a... Um, I wouldn't say trigger food for me, but they are one of those things that I really like. And if I have bananas in the house, I'm going to eat them till they're gone. Hi guys, it's snack time. I am out and about in my car. It's 11.01. I have to go to the grocery store, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to do this first and eat the Alberto's Trail Mix. 10 grams of protein. I love these things. I think it's going to get noisy because I'm going through the car okay, wash. Okay, I'm out of the car oh. wash now. The Alberto's has 10 grams of protein, uh, 270 calories, 180 if those are from fat. It's got kind of high carbs, 17 net carbs. Um, this is not something that I would recommend to somebody in loss mode, but it's really good for someone in maintenance mode. The reasons those stats are like that is because there's dried fruit in here, as well as a few kind of um, M&M type things, along with, along with nuts and beef jerky. I get them at Costco. Um, I think they're coming in a 10-pack. And they're really handy to keep in the car because they don't melt. And it's nice to have something savory instead of sweet like a protein bar. All right, guys. Just for you, I'm going to look like a crazy person here in Jersey Mike's and film my lunch and dinner. It's a giant number eight, which is a club sub. It has ham, turkey, provolone, uh, vegetables, and bacon. And like I said, it's a giant. Um, I got extra mayo, extra olive oil, and extra vinegar on it. And it will be both lunch and dinner for me today. Okay, it's 12.57 and I am done eating lunch. I started about, oh, I think it was about 12, 20, 12.30, probably about 12.30. Um, and I ate half of a giant uh, Jersey Mike's number eight sub. I would say even maybe three months ago, four months ago, there was no way I could eat all of that. Um, but now I, I can. I sometimes have too much restriction but not usually I can eat a normal amount okay these days. it's 344 and I am ready for a snack so I'm going to have some of this cilantro lime marinated shrimp from Costco along with half of a large California avocado and half of a lime and so I've got uh, that half of an avocado is almost 150 grams um, and then all I do is uh, take the shrimp and I'm gonna spoon it onto the avocado and then I'm gonna spoon the so I spooned the shrimp right on top of there. Now I'm gonna spoon um, sour cream on top. The shrimp, I just did an equal amount. You can do however much you want. That just looked good to me. And then I'll be squeezing my lime on and I'll show you when I'm done. So there I put my sour cream on and for simplicity's sake, I just did an equal amount. So another 150 grams. And now all I'm gonna do is just squeeze my lime over the top, add salt and pepper, and I'm gonna squeeze it better than that. 
And then I'll give you the This nutri really doesn't film well. It's not very pretty, but it's awfully tasty. You can see the big shrimp in there and the chunks of avocado. And it's really good. And it's perfect for DSers. I'm not sure I'll eat this whole thing. It's on a salad plate, though. I had a craving for something sweet all of a sudden. Normally, I don't eat Atkins bars, but I had this one in my cupboard for some reason. Somebody probably gave it to me. Triple chocolate bar. And the only other things I had were Premier Protein Bars and Lean Bars. This, this had, had fewer net carbs in it, and so because it's only got four net carbs. I generally don't eat the Atkins ones because they tend to be full of maltitol, which is not great for my stomach and being a DSer, I already have digestive but issues. But I'm going to eat it anyway just to try it out. So it's the triple chocolate bar. I may eat all of it. I may not. We'll see. But I'll add it to my uh, my fitness pal and I will as always post everything at the end of the day. Oh man, this sucker is tasty. I don't know if you can see, but it's like chocolate rice krispies and peanuts and then a chocolate coating on the bottom. It is really good. I recommend this, you guys. It's tasty. Okay, now I'm on to the naughty stuff, you guys. My husband and son are having an evening of playing Age of Empires. So we got old school snacks, Mountain Dew, and Doritos. And so I'm trying a couple of each of these. The Blaze and Jack the Giant Dip Hot Wings. So I'm not going to eat a whole bunch of these, I don't think. Although I do like Doritos. Um, but I do expect to eat a few. I'll let you know how they are if you're interested. Okay, Blaze is definitely blazing. I think I like the Jacked better, but they're both good if you like spicy stuff. Highly recommend. Also love the Doritos Dynamite. It's 7.39 and I just finished eating dinner, which I forgot to film for you guys, but it was the other half of that giant number eight Jersey Mike sub, club sub. And so I had that and I, and had, I had half an ounce, about six or seven uh, of the Cheetos Cheesy Poofs. Um, I don't want to go get the bag, but you you know the kind, the big poofy ones. I'll post the macros next.